I'll be showing 12 new features in Outlook. This includes Outlook Desktop, Mobile, and the web. So let's get started. The first new feature is a new notifications bar that can open up directly in your Outlook Desktop. Now, if you look in the upper right, there's now a little bell icon with the number three. That means that there is activity happening. Let's click this to open. What you see is a set of notifications that are happening, and these happen across various different places. It could be email, it could be Word documents. You see here that Bill created a new task in this TPS report document that I need to look at. Here's another one, and then in this case, Bill mentioned it in email. He mentioned my name, Kara. You can customize this by clicking the gear. So right now, email notifications, likes, document mentions, travel, and deliveries are all turned on. Maybe I wanna turn off travel, and I wanna turn off likes. Now I'm gonna go back. These are the email notifications that I have. If I click one, it launches me right into the Word document where that notification was. So it's really handy to have all those notifications and links right in your Outlook inbox. And if I want to dismiss these notifications, I just do dismiss all. The second new feature is that Editor is fully rolled out in Outlook Desktop. So I'm gonna to reply to a message from Bill here, and we'll maximize. And you're gonna see Editor right here. So I click this to open it up, and Editor is our next generation spell checker. So if I type in a bunch of things here, and this is a demo for Editor itself, so I'll just paste, a set of things get pulled up. I have spelling, grammar, there's clarity. So if I click here, things like clarity and conciseness, hit back, formality, things like my cat barfed versus vomited. So all of the types of things that you would normally have in Word Editor are actually now available in Outlook Editor and you can go change the settings. So I'll close this here and minimize this mail message. Now in Outlook, go to File, down at the bottom, choose Options, then Mail, and then Editor Options. And right here, I can scroll down and there's Settings. So click here to check for Settings, and there's all these different editor settings. So a bunch of different things that you can turn on and off. If you wanna have more inclusive language, you can put these check marks on, and Editor will check for that. You can check for things like cliches, collective nouns, conventional phrasing, and all sorts of great things. And I'll hit OK and OK. Now when I open up Editor, you're gonna see more things. I've got inclusiveness. Oh, I was saying stewardesses. Probably shouldn't be using that anymore. Flight attendants is maybe a better option. Even vocabulary. Right here, think outside the box. That's a pretty trite phrase. Maybe I say think freely, think creatively. So the full editor is now available in Outlook Desktop. The third new feature is a dramatically improved read aloud voice. I have my message here from Bill Lumberg and up on the home tab, you'll see read aloud. And when I click this, I really need you to make sure to use the new TPS report cover sheets. It's beautiful to hear that read aloud voice about the TPS report cover sheets. I can also open up any message and the read aloud is right here. I can also even use the immersive reader and choose read aloud I really need you to make sure to use the new oh, TPS. It's just so glorious. I can also change the voice from male to female. So now I can read it out loud with the female voice. I really need you to make sure to use the new TPS report cover sheets. The fourth new feature is word prediction built into Outlook email. So when you type, it can predict what you might be saying. So I'm going to reply to a message here and we'll start typing. As I'm typing Saturday, you see the light gray appears. If I hit tab, it'll jump to the end of that word. So it predicted I was typing Saturday. I have a really important, it's finding that. This is on by default, but you can go into mail options and turn it off if you don't wanna have those text predictions. The fifth new feature is improved translation in Outlook desktop. I have a mail here from Bill Lumberg, and I'm gonna open it up. Now let's say that I wanna translate this email into a different language. On the Message tab, there's this Translate button. I'll click this here and choose to Translate Message. Now, I've default chosen this to go from English into Arabic, and you can turn this on automatically. I can go back here to say Show Original. There's English, and then back to Arabic. So I can go back and forth, and right here, I can choose Translation Preferences. I've opened this up, and down here, there's this Translation. Now, right now, it's set to Arabic, and it always asks me before translating, I could set that to default. So if I'm working with someone who's writing in a different language, I could always translate. I could open this up, and maybe I wanna translate this to Spanish every time. I go here, and this time I'll say, okay. And we'll close this message and open up a different one. Now I'll go again to say translate, translate message. And this time it's translated into Spanish. 
The sixth new feature is in Outlook Mobile and it is Send Availability, one of my favorite features. So this allows you to share availability with folks outside of your company. Now I have a message here from Bill Lumberg and he's bringing in some external consultants and he'd like me to send my availability to the group so they can see what times are available on my calendar. Let's open up a message. And now I'll top reply to all. In the lower left, you'll see this little calendar with a plus, tap that and choose send availability. Now it brings up my calendar and just tap on the times and dates that are available. So here's some times, let's switch over to a Tuesday, tap a couple other times, and then click the check mark in the upper right when you're done. And it automatically injects all those dates and says here's some times that are available. Now I can just hit send and send it off. The seventh new feature lets me create a meeting based on any mail I have. Here's a mail from Bell Lumberg. I'm gonna choose reply all, Tap that calendar again in the lower left with the plus, and now choose convert to event. It makes a meeting automatically. It's gonna send it to Bill Lumberg. I'll set my times that I want. Of course, it's gonna be on a Saturday. There we are, let's make it at 3.30. Hit the check in the upper right, and it sends it off to Bill Lumberg. Now just tap your calendar in the lower right, and there's that meeting. Please use the new TPS report cover sheets. Gotta meet with Bill on that one. The eighth new feature is also in Outlook Mobile and it allows you to shorten the default meeting times you set up. This is especially great with remote and hybrid work. Shorten that meeting by five minutes to start late or have it end a little bit early. Now to do that, what you're gonna do is tap the little C or your little icon in the upper left to open up the pane and then choose settings in the lower left, the gear. Now choose your account, we'll choose Kara C for me and now scroll down until you see shorten all events, tap there, and now switch that on. And you can choose to end events early, like five minutes early. I'm gonna say start my events late. So start less than one hour, five minutes late. I'm gonna say one hour or longer, make that start 15 minutes late. Now the defaults are set. The ninth new feature adds default Teams meetings to all of the meetings you set up in Outlook Mobile. So just like in the last feature, tap in the upper left on your name, on the C there. Now the gear in the lower left to bring up settings. Tap your account name, Kara C for me. Then scroll down and now tap on online meetings. And then say make every meeting online, switch that on. There we go, it's just that easy. My default provider in this case is Microsoft Teams. The 10th new feature is enhanced automatic replies in Outlook Mobile. So for automatic replies when you're out of the office, you can configure a specific time period for when this gets created in the future. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna open up my settings. So tap in the upper left on C, tap settings in the lower left. Choose your account, Kara C for me. Now we're gonna tap on automatic replies and then flip that to on. Now I'm gonna say reply during a time period, turn that switch on and I'm gonna start replying for out of office. We'll choose a time, it's gonna be 7 a.m. on a Saturday, and the end time is tomorrow at, let's say, 11 p.m. Tap the check mark, and you can even set to block my calendar, which creates an event for that period that shows you out of the office. Really handy, tap the check, all done. The 11th new feature is the ability for Outlook Web to send an email message directly into Microsoft Teams. This is similar to what we've already had in Desktop Outlook. Now I'm here as Kara Coleman, in the upper right on this message, there's this little add apps button. So I'll choose more apps. And right here, there is share to teams. Here's the share to teams dialogue. Now the first place is where do I want to send this to? And I'm going to send it to my Pineview School staff team. There we go. I can type a message. Check out the new TPS report cover sheet designs. If I scroll down, there's this PowerPoint attachment. We'll choose to include attachments and then just click share. Now it's sending it directly into Teams. You can go explore that by choosing Go to Teams. Then go into Pine View School Staff. And there is that message that I sent and it even has the PowerPoint attachment. The 12th new feature is sending an email directly into OneNote, similar to what we just saw with Teams. So I'm also gonna go to the More Apps icon here in the right, click that, choose Send to OneNote, and it gets all my notebooks. I'll choose the Design Research Group and we'll put this into the Plan section and choose Save. That saves it right into my OneNote notebook automatically. Let's choose open in OneNote. And hey, there is my page. It is in the plan section of my design research group notebook. If you wanna keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.